Okay, so uh, we looked at different methods of tree traversal. So what we're going to do in this video is actually implement a uh, breadth first traversal. So if you remember, it was all about the layers, where we're going to visit node n, then visit all the children n, the grandchildren n, etc. And we talked about using a queue. So this is really, really straightforward. Okay, basically we're going to start at root n, we're going to add n to the queue. Then while our queue is not empty, we can dequeue the head of the queue. We can output that node n. And if n has any child nodes, we add them to the queue. And so we keep adding um, children to the queue um, and outputting them as we go along. All right. So that algorithm basically looks like this. If my if my tree is not empty, I'm going to create a new queue and I'm going to enqueue the root to the um, to the queue. And then while my queue is not empty, it's going to dequeue the head of the queue. I'm going to output that node and then if my left point is not null, I'm going to add the node at the left to the queue. And then if my right point is not empty, they're going to add the point at the right to the queue. And that's it. So simple and straightforward. The easiest way to, the, uh, to make use of the, um, the queue, though, is to uh, use uh, types. So if you do have a language that allows you to do that, then basically, uh, you know, if you've got a class for your node, then use the types to make it easy to um, to extract um, items from the head of the queue without having to do further type casting. And that's it. All right. Really, really simple and straightforward implementation um, for breadth first traversal.